Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we will solve a hacker and problem, New Year Chaos. So let's understand the problem first. So uh, the persons are standing in the queue for Wonderland roller coaster ride, and each person wears a sticker. So uh, there is a queue they are standing in, and the positions can be one to n. And any person can bribe the person directly in the front of it to swap the positions. So a person can come. Forward in the queue by two positions, but it will still hold the sticker that was there. It means that if his number originally was five and he moves two positions front in the queue and swap the positions, then he will still hold that number. So we have to find out the minimum number of bribes that took place to get to a given queue order. So a given queue order is given in, as the input, and we have to find that how many bribes were given. And if a person is bribed. Two, like more than two people, then it's too chaotic. A person cannot bribe more than two positions. Okay, so here let's look at this example. That if a person, so this is like the original position, and here a uh, five and four is swapped. We see that five person has bribed four, and this is swapped. So similarly, if we see here, four has come three positions forward. Like one, two, three, four. So here it's like too chaotic because four cannot come two pos three positions forward. So we have to complete a function minimum bribes, and a queue is given as the input, the current queue position, and we have to find the number of bribes. And what is the input format? The first line is always the number of the test cases. So there can be lot of test cases, and a queue will be given, and you have to find the uh, number of bribes. And there are constraints defined that. The number of elements in the queue n can be in the range of one to ten raised power five. Means we have to process ten raised power five elements. Uh, like there can be these many elements in the queue, and there can be maximum ten test cases that are there in the like this whole when we submit this code. Let's look at this uh, test case solution. So here, so originally uh, it was one, two, three, four, five, and what happens? This five moves one position forward by bribing the person four. So here, a swap happened. Now the five moves like one position ahead more. So here, this this swap happens. So this is the current position. And now, if the two moves forward, then this this swap has taken place. So here, we, like three swaps has taken place means three bribes have given to make this position as the final position. So let's summarize our problem statement. That any person can move from back to front by two positions maximum, and if a person moves to front more than by two positions, then it is said to be too chaotic. And what we have to find is the number of bribes that were given in total. So this is the problem statement. Now let's discuss about approach one here. So here, uh, so this five has moved ahead two position, and this two is moved ahead one position. So if we see that if he has moved ahead. Two positions. So, so what will happen? It will be greater than like let's let's think how we approach this problem. So, so the basic thing that we see here is that it's greater than whatever elements with whatever elements he has swapped. So, it has swapped with three and four. So, see, it's greater than this three and four, and this two has swapped with one. So, it's greater than. I mean, so uh, so it lies in front, and if we look. At this to all together, so we see that it's it's greater than. I mean, the array is not sorted, and there are some swaps that has happened in the array. And if we just note them out, then we conclude that the bribe that were given were three. So, so what we have to do here is say like, if we think of a simple solution, then what we could have done is we can uh, just do like uh, sorting of this array. Maybe like if I just think about it at first, then we can do a sorting if the array. Then what we have to do, we have to just count like okay to make this array sort, I would need to uh, swap this back, swap this back, and swap this back, and all these things. So we have to do the swap three times. So hence the bribe count was three. Now let's look at the negative test case. So any. Like negative as in this two chaotic test case. So what happens here? This five is in front of like the the smaller number to the right side of five are three, like one, three, and four. Both like all these three are smaller than five. So that means that 
it's greater than three numbers three people uh, where it's standing like it's standing in three people in front of the queue so this is not possible only two swaps were allowed so we just find out two chaotic this can be solved by bubble sort or we what we are doing here is inversion pairs so bubble sort is like moving the bigger elements to the bottom so it will swap with this swap with this and these two swaps will be there and similarly this so using bubble sort we can find and if we find out the number of inversion pairs inversion pairs means these pairs are the inversion pairs that if left side is a greater number than the right side we, we do find it using insertion sort okay so that is also the bright count this is the simple approach that we looked at and uh, let's see like what is the complexity here so uh, we generally know that bubble sort and insertion sort uh, runs in order of n square because we will we'll run two loops and all the logic is there. So we have this constraint of uh, 10 raised power 5 elements we can get in the queue. Okay. So if we have 10 raised power 5 elements in the queue and we do a n square for that. So this is approximately 10 raised power 10 operations we need to do. Complexity is simple, like if we have 10 raised to power 5 elements to process and we process it in order of n, then it would have been uh, 10 raised to power 5 operations to be done. Now, if our logic is order of n square, then we need 10 raised to power 10 operations to be done. And in one second, computer can almost do 10 raised to power 8 operations. Okay, so in this case, what will happen? We will get a TLE. So there are few category of errors and please comment if you want me to make a more detailed video on what all errors we get while we submit code on uh, such platforms. So so gen so what will happen here is we will get a TLE means time limit exceeded because it won't be able to uh, like process these 10 raised power 10 operations within one second. So let's look at another approach for this. Here we can do this problem better in a better way and order n. And if we are able to hit order n for this problem, then we'll not get TLE or any other uh, uh, error. So let's look at this. So let's look at another approach and uh, see how we can do better, uh, how we can re reach order n. So here, uh, let's see what is the correct position for the element. So correct position of the element is if whatever is present at the uh, queue uh, is equal to index plus 1. So say if the index is 1 and whatever is present at, at that queue position is equal, then we say that it is at the correct position. Then what is the wrong position? It, it's this if, it, if they're not equal. So what we'll try to do, so say if this 6, so uh, what should have been there 6 and it's not equal to 8. Okay, so here we say that 6 is not at the correct position. So we'll try to find the correct position for it and we'll swap it. So here what we'll do, we'll, we'll have three cases here. Let's see. So if like we, we'll search for what is, where is this i plus 1. So the i plus 1 should have been 8, but it's not here. So where it should be. So it can be either at i minus 1 position because it could have swapped with the front position or it could have been either at the two positions front. So there can be a such case that it is two position front. Or if it is like both of these does not exist, then it is a two chaotic case. So what we have done better, we're still doing sorting. We're still trying to fill this position with the correct position, like we do in the sorting algorithm. But we are restricting ourselves to only two comparisons for each index, like for each index will just see at two positions only. We won't see in the whole array. If for every index, if we would have to see, see in the whole array, it's, it's again order of n square, right? But we are restricting because we have a constraint given that is two positions only, then we can do it in order of n. So let's look at these three cases and just try to make every index all right and we'll keep on count, counting the bright count. So if, uh, let's see. So uh, this 6 is um, like here, uh, what should have been there? 8 should have been there. And we search that 8 is at i minus 1. The Q of i minus 1 is this 8. So what we'll do, we'll swap this. Okay, so we'll swap this in a way 8 and 6. And we make this 8 at the correct position. 
so this is the one swap so we'll increase the count by one so now what we do this we bring at the correct position now we check that check that that uh, the element that is at this position is equal to i plus one no it is not equal to seven seven should have been here okay so we search for seven at at previous or before that so we find that here okay so it's at i minus one position only so we'll swap that we'll just take that eight as it is and we'll just swap that. so now we have made corrections for this and i bribe count is two now now we move forward this is at the correct position so this is five plus one like is this four plus one the index plus one no it's not so we search for this like i plus one where is this i plus one it can be either at i minus one position or i minus two position so we found this here so what we'll do for this we'll take this together i mean we'll move these two in front and five here so it, it will look like five and these two will move together in front okay rest of the queue is same and since we made two swaps here we increase the bribe count to four and we move in front so now everything is settled and we have a minimum bribe count of four let's see by the previous method as well so five and three we had the inversion pair that we just swapped 5 and 4 was the inversion pair that we swapped and 8 and 6 was the inversion pair and 7 and 6 was the inversion pair so we could relate this and we could have done this so let's see it further so this is the case where we find the element at previous position like here we found that 8 was at q i minus 1 so what we just do here that we move like whatever was here we place it here like q i minus 1 is equals to q i and q of i is i plus 1 and we increase the bright count by 1 another case was that like this 5 if we found this 5 at two positions before okay so what we do we move these two all together in the front so q of i minus 2 like we are here right this this is the i so q of i minus 2 this position will have 3 okay so this this is the first line that uh, whatever is here it will be replaced by three now the next line is whatever like i minus one will be filled by this this position so it will be four and this position like this q of i will be five so this is how we do that and increase the bright count by two and and we do one more thing else it is too chaotic okay and there is one more thing to look at that i just want to point out that since we are moving in backward direction so say like we are at the front or the second position only right so we need to have this corner case check as well these, these two things so if we are comparing at i minus one because we are making like loop to go from q dot size minus one to zero okay so so before comparing we have to check that it should be valid index okay so it should be greater than zero and here i minus two should be greater than zero so let's look at the final program so here we initialize bright count by zero and we start at the end position and we go till zero at position so it's simple that if the not uh, the position there is not the supposed to be one so we add these three checks like i explained and at the final we print the bright count and if it is too chaotic we directly return it so let's run this code so yeah all test case passed okay so i hope you understood the solution if you like the problem and the solution please share it with your friends like and subscribe and i'll be putting a lot of coding problems competitive coding so please stay connected and see you next video